When I first went, I was real nervous, and I was talking to the doctor, and I told her, I said, I don't, I'm, I don't know what to expect. And, uh, but she went through the process and explained to me, you know, what was going to take place and how they were going to do it. And uh, it made me more comfortable with it. They treated me wonderful. Um, when I went back and started the radiation, of course, they had marked my leg, you know, uh, where the cancer was. And they told me how they were going to do it and how, you know, for me to be real still and everything and everything be fine. I had an opportunity to go to MD Anderson, and which is a big cancer hospital. But uh, I said, no, I just understand in Decatur. I think we got the right doctors and everything that can treat it just as good as they can out there at MD Anderson. I made the right decision because I've had the cancer three times and I've got it in remission three times. I am a cancer survivor. When I heard her say that we got it in remission, it was like a big elephant removed off of my, my body. I told her, I said, I'm gonna get up here and hug you. I said, because, <laughs> I said, this is a relief to me, you know, and I hope that it never comes back. And she said that she felt like that I wouldn't have any more problems with the cancer in my leg. There was two people came up and said, I barely ate, gripe, complained, and everything about mine, but said, I won't ever do it again after listening to what you just went through. And he said, how can you smile about it? And I said, it's easier to smile than it is to cry. I said, if I lay down, it's one. You know, if I quit. And I said, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna keep fighting.